Hey, happy Tuesday, everyone. Hey, everyone. Look at this. We split Brady into two awesome people. How cool is that? Fucking <laughs> <laughs> brought out the big guns tonight for this one. I love Shit. it. We brought out the big boys. Bill the Everscade, then Colin, who are going to be joining us tonight. Brett is on vacation. He might pop his head in. That sounds <laughs> kind of weird. Yeah. Stick, get your, <laughs> hey, get, get out of me. <laughs> But yeah, tonight we're going to be doing Friday the 13th Part 3. Oh, yes. Who here so, saw it in 3D in the theater? What's that? Anybody else? Who here saw it in 3D in the theater? Well, unfortunately for us, you can't get in unless you're 18. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I remember it was but, uber but strict. But right, I was like eight years old, so no chance. Yeah, I don't even think I was. When, when did this movie come out? 82. 82. Yeah, I wasn't even I wasn't even born yet. I wasn't even a thought my dad's nuts. Oh yet. stop it. <laughs> yeah, I I first seen first seen this one probably about eighty five on VHS. Yeah. That was the first time I seen it. Yeah. Yeah, I saw this I probably around the first be... time I saw this probably around the first time I was trying to finger bang my first girlfriend. Yeah. You, know, you know how that goes. Trying to bang her during Friday part three? Nice. <laughs> Finger bang only, you know, innocent stuff. <laughs> Look at you, you dirty bastard. Yeah. Some 3D action, huh? <laughs> That's right. That's yeah. right, buddy. <laughs> oh, Who is in the house? Greetings from the grindhouse. Is in the house. What's up? Good friend James hey. in the house. What's up? And uh, our good hey, buddy. James. Ryan, what is hey, going Ryan. on? Is that underwood hey, up to no good? Hey, Gene, what's up? So, Gene in the chat last night for Michael Myers Monday. I think awesome. it was you. Was it you last night, Gene? Correct me if I'm wrong. It was. I had a crazy week, and to say the least. Eric, what's up? So yeah, I was looking forward to this. Good way to decompress. Have a couple of beers. Colin, I'm having some Irish red in honor of uh, Ooh, Colin joining nice. us. Very nice. With the, the little sheep, nice. give me the the raspberries. Very nice. <laughs> and uh, is anybody, I know Colin does not drink anymore. Anybody else partaking of this fine evening? Um, I had some drinks earlier. We had an early dinner. Uh, that's why we were running late. We caught traffic. So I'm I'm a little deep. I'm I'm feeling pretty good right now. That boy. Yes. yes Joe's buzz. Joe's got the buzz. That is oh, true. What you got there? It's, uh, mortal beer founders is the company founders. Mortal Bloom is called the hazy IPA. Oh, oh nice, nice hazy. Yeah, founders. I, is that that's some of the ones I got from Brady? Right, the founders. They were good. There was one or two. I think. Probably. Yeah, yeah they're, they're popular one is all day. It's a, it's a, um, what do they oh, call it? Session. So you can drink a lot of them, you know, and not get fucked up, you know. That, that, those are popular down here, Bob. Those are good. Those That's are no fun. Good. Fuck yeah. Yeah, it just means you got to buy more. That's not good, man. <laughs> well, I mean, you get a nice buzz. You just don't get like, it's not like, you know, pounded. Usually IPAs and stuff are, are like, you know, 6% alcohol, where this is right. like 4.3, like a normal beer, you know. Yeah, you'll be uh, three shits to the wind, not sheets. Shits. Yeah. <laughs> Ratings has got coffee from IHOP. Nice. There you go. Coffee to keep you awake for this one. I mean, there's a lot of cool shit in this one, though. I don't think anybody's falling asleep tonight during this. Where's everybody watching it? I'm watching it. I'm watching it on the thumb drive. It's on my computer. I'm on my computer. Uh, Max. Blu ray. I'm watching the 40th anniversary Blu ray. 
Look at that. Steel brick one. Yeah, I got the Blu-ray, Blu-ray from the uh, box set. Yeah. Oh, nice. Now, if anybody, so, so if somebody has like a 3D television, could they get this in 3D? Like it wasn't a theater, which wasn't all that great 3D to begin with. Yeah, I think the box set could, uh, the 3D version also. Hmm. But unfortunately, I don't have a 3D TV, so. No, I mean, I never bothered with it either. I'm like, ah. I think Brady does. I the glasses and all that shit, and it kind of works. But you end up getting a sore head, so I don't bother usually. Yeah, I don't yeah. need that. I remember going yeah. and seeing it in the theater back in the day, and they gave you those red and blue glasses, and uh, you, get, you got a headache by the time I'd, I'd leave. I, I remember seeing yeah. Jaws in the cinema as a kid. Oh, that was pretty cool then. It was the first 3D film I ever saw in the cinema. And it was, it was epic back then, but it looks pretty fucking cheesy now, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now I tell you what I remember most about this movie is the the poster. I love the the poster for it. Which one you is know, that? Bill? Stabbing into the shower curtain. That's fucking cool, dude. That yeah. is just I can't so, see that. That so memorable. Trying to so make memorable. the axe 3D. <laughs> yep, and then came with the. Look at that! Oh, it comes with the glasses. <laughs> That's fire, dude. That's cool, man. <laughs> Shit, but. I don't have a 3D TV either, so oh well. I don't make this bigger. That's what she said. Nice, yeah. Amen, brother. Yeah. I think that'll work. There we go. Yeah, but so let's get into this. Chat away. This is we know this is the iconic film where he gets his hockey mask, right? From Shelly. Stupid Doodles. old Shelly. Some cute girls in it. Shelly, the sexy bastard. That sexy son of a bitch, Shelly. He almost, he almost got it, bro. I was pulling for that fool, man. Seriously, man. Poor guy, man. Give him some for Christ's sake. I know it. Give him a little poon. That's it. Is, is, is he a lawyer now or something, isn't he? Oh. Yep, he's a uh, lawyer. Larry Zerner or something like that? Yeah. yeah. Well, he's, he's been to like conventions. That. I know that. I know he's done some conventions, too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is he an entertainment lawyer? Is he an entertainment lawyer? Yeah. Well, oh, nice. You can get 3D glasses from Flesh for Frankenstein, Silent Madness, and Treasure of the Four Crowns. Her last name is the best. Shelly Finkelstein. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Shelly Finkelstein. Steinstein. So let's do this. We'll, we'll get it started on count of three, one, uno, dos. Let's go, because then we'll get our whole exposition in the beginning. Of this tell us of, of everything that happened in part two. Go see some Amy Steel. Man, those are the best. I love those recaps, man. Those are sexy. I never complained yeah. about them. They were always good. You know, a little refresher. It was a smart move because if you had, other people hadn't seen the previous entry, it didn't make a difference because they basically just told you what you'd missed. Yeah, yeah. it was good. Yeah. So <clears throat> not a bad way to start. Part four <laughs> and part seven had great uh, recaps. Yeah. Uh, four. Yeah, yeah. Steve Miner, H2O alumni. House. House, yeah. Uh -huh. and, and you got to love the, dis the disco themed uh, song on this one, too. <laughs> yeah. When it kicks in. <laughs> yeah. It's like, guys, you missed the boat. This was 82. Disco was dead by then. Hang on, so bust out some moves here. This was always a great image where you see her by the window and you see him running. That's great. I thought that was cool as hell. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> he didn't seem like, you know, early on in the films, of course, especially part two is the first time you see him, but he, he didn't look physically imposing in this film. He just no. looked like he had the regular body of a normal dude. Like, I felt like that, uh, what's his name, could take him. I felt like he could kick his ass. <clears throat> the that last guy, I can't remember his name. Very Myers ish, because Myers didn't look physically intimidating in the first one either. Uh -uh. No, he was very, very slight. That castle was very slim. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it, yeah. I think in a way that kind of added to it because it sort of gave like a sort of supernatural element to it. You know, how how can this dude lift people off the floor? Yeah, and exactly. Of stature. It kind yeah, of it just makes it more creepy. It makes it funny. Like to me, it's like you think of Jason, you think of brute force, right? You yeah. think of like Kane Hodder, you think of like you know Part Six or whatever. Like he kicks ass, but this Jason here looks like a little squinkly. Yeah. 
Well, he didn't really have all that brute force until he became a zombie. You know, that's when he got all his that's powers, true. I think. That's, that's true. true. He was still kind of strong in part four, but, I mean, by the time he got six, when he came back to life, that's when he had all his, his supernatural stuff going that's on. That's true. Here. That's true. I guess oh, he didn't see uh, – he probably he met up with Ryan Underwood too. to get some of those uh, – you know, those the extra juice. <laughs> I, thought I, was, I thought I was hitting captions and I just put it in Spanish. I'm like, why do I hear it in Spanish? Uh, yeah. Hold on a second. English. Let's see. Okay, there we go. I'm like, it's in Spanish. El Conejo es rojo. <laughs> and you see, and you see in part two, Jason did that little head tilt a la Mikey Myers a little bit. A little bit. Yeah, there you go. A little bit. Yeah. He's like, Rrr. Knock off much. That's right, Gene. This is the iconic movie where he gets the mask. That miracle grow does wonders, Joe. <laughs> right. Where is he? Is that my boy Ryan? Oh, I him? love it, Ryan. <laughs> I love it, brother. I saw something that uh Arnold Schwarzenegger, he got a pacemaker put in. Really? Yeah, he uh he's had three open heart surgeries. And he's got he had a history of you know having some heart valve issues, but anytime you get a, put, a pacemaker put in, it's something to do with the elect, electrical uh, impulses in your heart. So, yeah, I guess you know, good old Arnold's still hanging around, man. Still smoking the cigars, or do you finally give him up? Oh, he's always gonna smoke his cigars, always. Instead he's of uh, saying "get me to the chopper," he's gonna say "get me to the charger." Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> He's a freaking bionic man now. I mean, he's got the best doctor's money can buy. You know what I mean? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Oh sure. yeah, come on. Follow. They probably follow up with him every every week or some shit every day. See, so the bodies that are there, you see Terry clear as a clear as a bell there. And I guess the other one on the other side is supposed to is that supposed to be Alice? I think it was. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. Well, that's Terry. Yeah, when he, I like the look on his face when you see his eye looking around, like, oh shit. Uh, that's gonna leave a mark. I yep. always thought that fucking sweater smelled like street shit. Yeah, fucking. exactly. Right, James. That was, that was <laughs> Alice's ride of corpse. Yep. Two movies the same year with killers using pickaxes as weapons, too. True. Uh, yeah. True, yeah. Very true. Yeah. She's looking at him like, oh, he's a monster. <laughs> She's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Look at that yeah. on my face, too. That sweater has to stink. Really has oh, to God. Stink. Could you imagine? Imagine. Oh, but she took but it I off before she left. In, uh, part two, when the cop goes and looks in the toilet, did it have water in it? I don't remember. I don't know. Oh, well, I, know. I was gonna say, how the hell do they have running plumbing all the way out there? He built that thing. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> Fucking shack. Well, say this: at least he flushed. <laughs> there was no logs in there. Yeah, no shit. No stinking logs. <laughs> Jason's last thought. Bitch, that hurt. <laughs> Always waiting for the eyes to open. They said that was originally supposed to be in the ending, right? If uh, mm -hmm. they filmed it with the eyes that open, but they didn't use it. Yeah, they said I thought they thought it was too cheesy. Yeah, yeah, it would have ruined it. Yeah. And this intro was always very, very reminiscent of um, where. Uh, all the acid rain comes down and Return of the Living Dead. Oh yeah, that's you right. know when they're showing everything. This this tune always reminds yeah. me so much of that. Uh, Fuck it, I, Whoa. Yeah. I like I almost the got intro. Nip Larry's Erner's name. So real. Donna yeah, Campbell. Like... Oh, sorry, Richard Brooker. Love that. Uh, my favorite one. I think Part Two's intro was a lot better. Yeah, definitely, James. That's my opinion. Oh, uh, man, we didn't find any boy. <laughs> oh. 
a good jam, though. All right, ha- put your hands up if you've had sex to this. <laughs> All the time. All the time. I wish I could. <laughs> I'm guessing the wife's not nearby. I've heard I've heard worse porno music, okay? I've heard worse, okay? My other half's in the States at the moment. Oh, look at you. You're a free man. She's a free man. She's in Pittsburgh at the moment. Oh, no shit. Pittsburgh. Yeah, her brother lives there. That's awesome. Is she gonna go to the museum? What's that? Sorry. Is she gonna go to the the Monroeville Mall? Go to the museum? No, we we were there at the original. Um, back in oh. 2019, we went to the one in Evans City before oh, it was nice. moved to the mall. It was so cool. Really, really cool. Yeah, I gotta get we out there. The cemetery, done all the, the whole tour, done a dead mall and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds fucking awesome. Yeah, well, I do it one of these years. Every year, something screws it up, and I can't go. So cool. This is a okay. dirty, rotten son of a bitch. Hey, he, he watch that snake. Rod oh. Jeremy for some reason. <laughs> well, he's one of Al Bundy's friends. He's one of the charter members of No Ma'am. Oh, <laughs> We saw the movies. Yeah, we're doing. We're. I got a timestamp of eight minutes and fifty-five seconds. Yeah, I'm with you. <laughs> There's Brady. Did Harold eat the fish food yet? Not yet. <laughs> Just about to come up. Did you make it to any of the trilogy locations, Brett? There's no way Britters fit into that guy's clothes. No way. Yeah, that's true. No, no chance. There's Jenny. Jenny, my Jenny, Jenny you're my girl. <coughs> See, that's what I was like. He's like, he's like very Myers ish. He's hiding in shadows. He's distancing yeah. himself. That's what I always liked about this. A lot of creeping. Going yeah, yeah, I like that. You get you get like part two vibes, like H two vibes. You hear like the radio playing, escape mental patient bullshit, blah blah blah. He's walking around in the fucking neighborhood, yeah. like very. Well, you know, we very, figured this was eighty two. Was a year after. Yeah, sure. a lot three, of influence. Three people are dead tonight. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. I just wanted to know where all his hair went after the last movie. Yeah. No shit. Yeah. That's right. I, when did he shave his head between? Yeah. <laughs> Must have been a wig in part two. <laughs> so Brett's going to be in Savannah tomorrow. There we go. We're going to hit some sights. Oh, very nice. Nice. The first time we see Jason, the maker was done by you know, Stan Winston. Then they got somebody else. The man. Damn. Love the scene where Jason steps out in the mask for the first time. I always said, I, which I said in my uh, what if, see there he is just standing there like very Myers ish. You see him behind it. If they would have, um, mm-hmm. Brett, he's eating, here's the fish food scene. Um, if we saw him putting the mask on for the first time, but I guess at the time, who would have thought how iconic it would have been? Yeah. You know, all, uh, when, when Myers puts it on for the, for the first time again in 18, it's like, wow. It's that scene. Yeah. He wore the H4 uh, shoulder pads. Charleston, South Carolina on Thursday. Look at you. On tour. Brady's on tour. Brady and family on tour. That's right. Miss you, bub. Brett, uh, hey, Brett, how does it feel to know that it took two guys to <laughs> fill in for you? <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. Brett, I've been mingling with all the cast from Southern Charm now. <laughs> They're in charge, them. Dude, this, this is a fucking rotten bastard right here, bro. Drinking the juice and shit. I know. Didn't eat all the other shit. Which worker was six three? Washed. Yeah, he looked. He looked just so menacing. I loved him in this. 
You guys ever now I never had the inkling to try fish food. I can honestly say that. No, wow. never had a desire. I, I had goldfish, but no. It always looked like fruity pebbles to me, but it sure didn't smell like it. Oh wow. god, no. Yeah. Those fucking donuts look delicious, bro. They're some of the best donuts I've ever seen. In my oh, life. those chocolate <laughs> entomans donuts are just oh. <laughs> oh dude. It looks so good. Now that's good babinka. See his wife she doesn't actually look that bad. Oh, she's she fine. Doesn't look that bad. If you fix her all up, she might not. Yeah. She might not be if she had makeup on, her was down, some nice clothes, she'd probably be actually quite hot. Yeah. She kind of looked like uh, she could be related to Mia Goth in a, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. You're right. I can't wait for Maxine in July. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brian. I've munched on some fishy things a few times, but that's it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've all been there, brother. We've all been there. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I call that anniversary dinners. <laughs> <laughs> we've all what? experienced the fustiness. Yeah. Yes, you guys. Glad the Bill and Colin jumped on. Great dudes. Yeah. Yes, indeedy. Hey, Brady. It's no wonder why this guy's in the shitter. He took a bite out of everything in the store. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, look at that. Man of my own heart. Some JD in the bathroom. Well, in the outhouse, I should say. Uh, well, I'm sure his shits are pungent with that mixture of food. Uh, food all you got to do is start so singing. Uh... And this is the part that always got me grossed out because he's doing? sitting there, and when you flash in there, you hear him shitting. Now he just stood up without wiping. <laughs> That's they the things I noticed. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. To say hi. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, oh, come on, dude. Wipe your ass. Oh, my little Street. neighbor, she says, she's saying hi, you guys. She's What's saying, that? Howdy. My neighbor, how's my been? neighbor's daughter. This is a Frostbite's uh, little girl. Oh, hey. Hello. Hi, Mama. Say, say hi, everybody. Hi. I was watching a scary movie. You can't watch it. You got to go. I'll see you later, okay? Tell your daddy I said hi, okay? Okay. We love you. Oh, hi, Mama. She's the sweetest kid. She's afraid of the house because there's the scary room in the back with all the collectibles. So she's, <laughs> yeah, afraid, that. she's afraid of the house. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, no. That's scary room. That toilet is... And this guy deserves to die. Tainting all the food in his store. He's walking around with his ass unwiped, touching yeah. other things. Seriously. Yeah, the mustache wife, alone. If you cleaned her up, she'd look be cute, pretty cute too, man. What's wrong with him? The mustache alone, he's got to go. Yeah, they didn't over they, they didn't oversell sell Jason in the early films. Oh. That's gonna hurt. Oh, this is the one with the uh, the pot smokers, right? The potheads. Yeah, the Cheech and yeah. Chong ripoffs. Yeah, the Cheech and Chong ripoffs. That's right. It's like Chong and Chichet. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, she she was annoying when she's walking down the stairs. Oh, my <laughs> God. Just kill, just shut up. And kill. <laughs> just die. Now it's all coming back. It's coming. Finally, got round to watching Thanksgiving like last week. What did you think? Yeah. I really enjoyed it. It was good. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I actually watched it twice. Okay. I also watched um, Dark Harvest. I really enjoyed that as well. Nice. Good Dark movie. Harvest. Yeah, I still got to check that out. Yeah, it's a good soundtrack as well. It's got the Damned in it and the Misfits. They even oh. use Misfits lyrics in some of the dialogue in the oh, film. Oh, which shit. Was probably pretty out there. <clears throat> yeah, it's a good film. That's fucking... That's badass. Mm -hmm. Thought he was going to hit me with that bat. Gene asked, do we have a favorite up. scene? The shadow of the boom shot? mic in the side of the band there. Did you? <laughs> yeah. My favorite scene in this is the ought to be after he shoots, uh, was it Vera? In the eye with the, with the, the, 
harpoon oh, gun. The, yeah. And then mm. I just love the way he just drops it, just nonchalantly walks away. Like, all right, who am I gonna fuck up next? Yeah, so it's just that, he, just that uh, body language. That body language is just yeah. is the best. Yeah. I think for me, it's the uh, the kill where he he cuts the guy when he's doing a handstand. Oh yeah. Like that. I, that's been burning in my brain, man. Yeah, that got to hurt. A cheap scare here. For me, it's uh, when what was it? Is this? Yeah, this is the one where he's hanging in the barn, isn't he? And he takes his mask off and he shows. Yeah, yeah. kind of smiles at her. Yep. Yeah. He does that. Here, you guys look. <laughs> yeah, he does his best sloth. <laughs> Hey, yeah. this this movie is in the running for having the best hotties. That's in my opinion. Yeah, these are all all these girls are yeah. cute as hell. Yeah, yeah, they were yeah. Best Even hotties, the annoying man. pothead's cute too. Yeah, all three. Look at them. All three. All three of them are banging. Even the mom. Yeah, yeah. You're right, bro. She's right. Yeah, the mom was bent. She was a fox. <laughs> the fans on fire, big stoners. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Cheech and Chong. Yeah. Oh, Say yeah, Chong and Cheech. <laughs> and then you have this guy that they find, who is basically, I guess, the replacement for Crazy Ralph, since they killed him off in part two. They could have let that guy keep going, man. That's they should have kept Crazy Ralph around. Yeah. That guy looks like the, the current version of Eddie Vedder. To get the beard. Yeah. Fucking Cheech. The Cheech guy? <laughs> hey, man. Yeah. I like uh that like a that like a three D joint. Here, take this. Here. <clears throat> James says Larry Zona was cast after producers saw him handing out flyers. Really? That's right. He's handing out flyers and oh, wow. the or something, apparently. They spotted him. Yeah. Well, that's not good because they wanted like a tro like a guy that was unattractive. It's like, oh, you know what? You don't look good, so let's cast you. <laughs> yeah, you can play like the scene in, uh, Like that scene in Super Troopers. When they're eating it all, all the weed, <laughs> the oh, guy in the back seat. Fucking disgusting. <laughs> uh, it's like, oh man. <laughs> He's like, hey, bro, you owe me about 250 bucks for them shrooms. Oh man. Fucking <laughs> 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 taste all green as well. <laughs> They use when apparently when it comes to filming that they use oregano. That's pretty uh, cool. Ah, I would think so. Yeah. Fucking now they can, well, the if you film in California, it's real. It's legal. They can use a real thing. Yeah. It's a guy in the Hawaiian shirt that the cops keep pushing back. That's supposed to be like a red herring. <laughs> No shit. Everyone knows it's Jason at this point. Never noticed that. <clears throat> you know, it sounds like Shelly's going to the annual purge with the mask. <laughs> yeah, the that's right. It does look like a purge mask. Yeah. Or the mask from Alice Sweet Alice. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Slipknot had, uh, they, I guess they call them their death masks, and they look a lot like that. Yeah. Oh man, what's his name from? Oh, is it is it the Devil's Rejects? Uh, what's her name's dad? He's he's since passed away. He looks uh, like him, right? Yeah, oh, Lewis. Jeffrey yeah. Lewis. Jeffrey Lewis. There you go, yeah. bud. <laughs> it looks like if you took Jeffrey Lewis and uh, was that guy's name Buck Flowers? Is that it? Buck yeah. Flowers. Yeah. 
If you yeah, put them you... in a fly pod together, you get this guy on the other end. No shit. Good call. Hey, Feel the Screams podcast. What's up, man? Jeff Lewis, Buck Flowers, and Willie Nelson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> What's going on there, Feel the Screams? Thank you for joining. Putting that eye in my face. So real. Higgins, Higgins. Yeah, the eyeball is foreshadowing, right? Because she's going to get it right in the eye. True, yeah. Gotta love those old vans, man. I was thinking the same thing, Bill, uh, just yeah, now. <laughs> like those old, Bill, those the shagging wagons. Shagging wagons. Yeah. The carpet inside them. Yeah, I've had three the van of rocking. Them life, man. Don't oh. come a knocking. Uh huh. <laughs> I used to have one that had like a whole table in the back, like benches and everything. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. Growing up, my neighbor up next there. door had one like that. Yeah. Nice. That are cool. I love those old American vans. <clears throat> the carpeting inside and everything. Yeah, mine was tan. It had tan carpeting on the inside. Trish is so hot in this movie. Yeah, she definitely needed to get naked. Really cute face. She hot. And aging very well, too, when you see her at, at uh, conventions. Yeah, she doesn't still, look too bad, yeah. Still, still very pretty. Yep. Yeah, I wouldn't say. Rick, you prick. Uh, every time somebody says prick, and I say prick. Colin, you had to have been a fan of the young ones. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Classic. The one where they go to University Challenge? Cult, yes, brilliant episode. <laughs> and they're all there. It's like, they're like, um, it's like the Hollywood Squares. And they announce it like Mike, Prick, Neil. And Rick's looking down, and somebody put a P in front of his name, so it says prick. <laughs> Bro. Such a great program. Oh, what a great show. <clears throat> I've seen Sean Clark done like a, an episode of one of the locations of the, of the young ones. Yeah, he, he did. A, it was a, the very first, uh, the house, where, like the first episode where they were outside and everything. When they had uh, brick mail, like crucified yeah. sitting outside. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. Field of Screams. Where's the field? Where's the field of Screams in Pennsylvania, James? Let me know. Yeah, Rick. Rick does look like he's forty. <laughs> he looks like a forty-year-old like English teacher. Shelly, the box reminds me of Willy Wonka's uh, little candy box in the new one. Jesus Christ! I didn't see the new one yet. I gotta check it out. No, I'm Oops. sure. Spoiler alert. <laughs> well, to be honest, I've never watched the original either. Really? What? No. Really? No. The original, the original was classic. Classic. It used to be on oh, every. Yeah. Just never watched it. The original's fantastic. Yeah. Original's kind of has horror elements in it. And it's, Big it's, time. It's creepy. Yeah, I've yeah. heard that. It used to be on every year. Christmas is one of those films I've seen bits of, but never sat mm. down the whole thing. That's yeah, gnarly. It's, it's, That's it's, crazy. Oh, so it's in Lancaster. Hmm. I just checked it out. Life and I go to Lancaster a lot. But like, life loves it up there in Amish country. And now we have to do a watch along there, Mr. Colin. We're going to have to do a watch along of fucking Willy Wonka and the Chocolate yeah. Factory. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's do that. I'll, I'll fucking do it. I love That'll that be... movie. Hell yeah. Gene Wilder. Yes, sir. I do. I, every day I'm like, no, don't. Stop. <laughs> yeah. Giant <laughs> yeah. Maze, we need a podcast because it was a place we hit up every Halloween when we were younger. It's awesome. I got to check that out. There's oh, one in Michigan, in Michigan, too, huh? 
Nice. So here, here's one for the ladies. Wreck with his shirt off. Yeah. Just to keep things equal. That's true. Here, let me oh, stick my 3D pecs in the camera. <laughs> yeah, right? 3D pecs. And he's got to know that the hay just got heavier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Your wife has a horse. I know I know much a bale of hay weighs. And not she's not heavy by no means, but it, she's definitely heavier than a bale of hay. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. I can sell it then. I'm surprised nobody's made three D porn. I'm sure they probably have. <laughs> I'm sure they probably have. Oh, I don't know if I'm ready for three D porn. Idea. Here comes the money shot. <laughs> hey, get me right out oh, right in the eye. Damn it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, so I did you see I was getting comments on uh, I posted yesterday our top five butts in horror. Oh, and yeah. People are like, well, where are the men's, the men's butts? <laughs> I guess it's all women. <laughs> hey, we talked about it. We said we were going to, you know. Yeah. If the girls there do and or do our top five man ass, yeah, I mean I'm probably gonna miss out on that one. I got something coming up, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> the problem is I don't even know who to pick because I really don't check out guys' asses. So I'm like I don't even know who to pick. Well, that's when you have uh, some special guests on. You have Christy come on and you have oh, Colorado. Yeah. Come on. Uh, yeah, that is good. a damn good idea. Damn, yeah, yeah that was a good fucking idea there, Bill. And we can, up. you know, confirm nor deny. You know, we can just be like, oh, okay, cool. Cool. Yeah, exactly. And, Let them do the dirty work. Speaking oh, of which, right. shout out to Nightmare Christy. Her uh, boyfriend had some health issues and all these on the mend. I don't know if you guys oh, saw yeah. that. Yeah, for sure. Sorry to hear that. Yeah. Well, you had a heart attack or something, yeah? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's terrible, man. Uh, See, like the the stoner chick's cute as hell too. Except yeah, she's, she's a terrible actress. That terrible actress. She comes running down the stairs later. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's awful. It's it's especially like, <laughs> that fucking reaction when she gets killed is piss poor. Yeah, it's so, <laughs> it's like, ah. so fucking bad. <laughs> He's like, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's awful. It's like, just shut up and get naked. Stop it. <laughs> Stop. You never mean to. Mm. Look at them I driving mean, in the Ted Bundy, the Ted Bundy mobile, same color and all. Yeah. My favorite part's coming up when they see what they were talking about. Uh, this box set first came out. They said that hey, there was an issue hey, with the uh, there's a fucking ass right 13 there. Card three. Blu-ray. There's an ass for you right there. There it is. <laughs> Shelly's, Shelly's ass. It's fucking gross. Oh, you want your Shelly's ass? <laughs> <laughs> fucking jeans were. Oh my god, he ran like a little. I don't know what to call him, man. That was terrible. Yeah. See, he hardly me. fucking jeans. They were so tight. <laughs> his fucking balls must. His balls must be up around his ears. Now that tight. All right, of the two chicks, which one would you take? The one in the green or the pink? Pink. Pink all day. Pink. Pink. Nice. Nice. Perv. (laughs) (laughs) And look at the, like, Patty Smith type chick that's at the work in the register. Yeah. 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 And the chick behind Shelly out in the, and she's cute too, in the back. (laughs) <laughs> you can barely see her. <laughs> and these two nitwits. Yeah. This one always reminded me of like she always looked like a like a great value uh Mrs. Huxtable. For real. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Doesn't she? Yeah. She really does. Fuck, I never noticed that before, yeah. Hmm. It's like a mammy right upside your head. 
and I watch her and I just all I think about is the video game. I, I used to play that all the time and she was in it, Shelly was in it. Uh, oh yeah. That's right. Um, They're so accurate to this the, the the Higgins Haven there. God, all the stages were so movie accurate. It was crazy. It's like being right in the movie. Oh no, hell King Shelly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Debbie became a news reporter. Really? And Ali was in what, Fright Night, the first one? Oh, well, I don't remember that. And there's one's Ali. Dollar, dollar Store Lee Gossett Jr. there. Not back to <laughs> yeah, that's true. Good <laughs> one. That's true. Claire Huxtable and the Hellcat. That's Claire Huxtable. That's it. I couldn't think of what her first name was. And you can still tell there's no windshield there either. Oh, no, there you go. I guess the scene was the one before they did break it. Boom. That fake glass. <laughs> First of all, why would you stop? I would have just gone the other way and then turned around. <laughs> I would have just turned. Look at Olympia beer. You should have just did what Pee Wee Herman did when he knocked over those other bikers and went inside and danced the tequila for him. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> He's using all that fake glass. Ah, the good old days when a bad guy just wrapped a chain around his fist instead of using a gun. Instead of getting a gun, right? Oh, He's got some balls. He played the bouncer that got killed by. Oh, really? I gotta go back and watch that. And we did a watch. I, did we do a, I know we were gonna do a watch longer Fright Night. I forget if we did. I know we did. Yeah, a you're podcast. right, man. He was the bouncer in Fright Night. Yeah, totally. That's my favorite scene in Fright Night. Is that club scene? I just thought the music's great, man. I love that scene. Oh, yeah. look at her in the bathing suit. What a bod. Whoa. Whoa. I know. Whoa. Yeah, just what you want to see in a horror movie. Yo Yo 3D. And they keep doing it. <laughs> Up there he is. So technically you the get girl to who see asked some of her the bar the car is responsible. She's responsible for the fucking damages, goddammit. There he is, creeping again. Yeah, it's like, uh, you want to open a, I'd be like, yeah, you open a windshield. Fuck that. I'd make them pay for that shit. Hell yeah. I'm not a, a ticket out of her ass. <laughs> Best believe that. I'm like, you can pay it off in increments. <laughs> hey, That's Joe. Fun today. Joe, was your London after midnight figure arrived yet? No. No. Um, I think it said by Friday. Friday. Right, yeah. I should get it by Friday. Yeah. It's currently probably... in Houston. I checked the status of it earlier. Yeah. Uh. It'll probably be a while for me yet. I have to get to the UK first. So. Oh, I can only imagine. I was pissed probably. that I had to pay $9 per item for shipping, man. I was so fucking pissed. Oh, really? Fuck yeah. Because I did it. I bought it for that, that Walmart thing. And I bought that. And then the, the Ghostface Inferno one. And each uh -huh. item, they tacked on 9 bucks for shipping. Like it wasn't like a flat rate. I wanted to buy yeah, some yeah. more stuff. I was like, "Fuck that! I'm not paying nine dollars per hit." I was like, "No way!" Fuck, that's that's brutal. That. What a can! What a can! <laughs> but I'm yep. excited, buddy. I can't wait till that sucker comes in, man. I can't wait. Yeah, yeah. I only wish somebody could find that film. It was lost. The lost film. Up, man, it's somewhere. I would love to see it. 
a Springsteen sticker on the bumper. I never noticed that. Oh, yeah. The boss. Product placement. Anytime I see people with siphoning gas, I think of a lethal weapon and Mel Gibson. Ah. He's like, what does he say? Ah, diesel or some shit like that. Oh, yeah. I just love how in every movie, when they're siphoning gas, they always tend to have a cigarette in their mouth. Yep. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. That's true. Well, this bitch does get what she deserves, though, to be honest. She does. May I have a pitchfork in the neck, please? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Their intention was going to burn down that barn. That's what they were going to do. Jason's like, uh, you're not fucking up my barn, damn you. Go shit up a rope. This is my house. My house. That's where all Jason's toys are. All his weapons. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of shit in there. Nice spooky barn. I'd love to have that barn. I'd love to have a barn in my yard. Yeah. Well, that spooky shit. So where are we now? Timestamp is 38 minutes and 39 seconds for those hanging out. Look at them just hiding in the background. I love that. And Brooker, Richard oh, Brooker's cool. arms were so goddamn long, like almost down to his knees. He was like, what was the one shit? The one, um, if you watch Scooby-Doo, the one monster with the long face that had the, the green shirt and the arms are real, real long. Mm-hmm. I don't know what name. Who, I know who you're talking about. That's who he looks like with the real long arms. That's the Toonie Terror figure. It's basically that same character, just with a hockey mask on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, Joe, you see that Nick just announced uh, the two uh, 50th anniversary oh. other face Toonie Terrors today? Bro, I fucking. One, one of them is a, is a retread, right? The, yeah. the bloody one is the retread yeah. from. Uh, uh, loot crate edition, but mm-hmm. I want the pretty lady one, bro. That yeah, shit looks lady. incredible, yeah, bro. Yeah, like, fuck, man. It's like they keep announcing shit. I'm just like, fuck, man. This is getting Stop crazy. It. Yeah. Expensive. <laughs> just, just can't hold out to it anymore. So fuck, much shit, shit being released. Unbelievable. And then, like, you know, it's uh, Target. Uh, they're having their holothon. It starts on the 29th. <clears throat> so they're coming out with another, uh, they're coming out with a saw figure, um, uh, which I don't know what it's going to be. God knows. It's an ultimate figure. And then um, another uh, Prey figure. But apparently it's, you know, I like the movie Prey. So mm-hmm. I got to look for those fucking things in a couple of days. Probably when we get back from our, our little trip. I'm like, fuck, dude, shit just keeps coming, man. Keeps coming and coming and coming. Yeah, yep. My girlfriend. No to too many, too many, too many figures to buy, man. It's like yeah. there was none. <laughs> yeah, so much stuff. I remember when uh, McFarlane put out the very first movie Maniacs, and how excited I was to get the Freddy and the Jason and the Michael. Oh, man, yeah. that was so. Cool when I was making, yeah. wow, horror figures. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, I yep. suspend. Uh, I dropped some coin the other night in my drunken stupor, because I never, I never went and pre-ordered those. Um, the hell was it? But they did the reprint of the novelization of Halloween, the big books printed in blood. Oh yeah, yeah, those those look sweet, dude. I dro- I dropped coin the other night in my drunken stupor. I'm like, should I get them? Should I get? Them? I'm like, fuck it. Are they them. still available right now? They were the other night. Fuck man, don't tell me, dude. No, no, no. I didn't hear that. I saw GK posted. He got his. <laughs> I'm like, how oh, they look cool. I got to do it. Shit, I saw your picture of the fucking Loomis figure, dude. That shit looks fucking badass. Did you, bro. Did you get it? No, I didn't. Cause oh, it's you didn't like, order it. It's fucking money, man. Two hundred bucks, bro. Yeah, uh, that looks so good. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Stick, there, <laughs> stick that shit right to the wall. 
Whoa. Popping right out of the screen, man. 3D is so good. Uh, and this is great, too. The thing it's, it's like... Uh... <laughs> and with the smoke still in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> so go there goes the guy who killed uh, JFK. <laughs> Gene, you heading out? Have a good night, Gene. Thanks for popping in. Yeah, Clyde Parker is going to his last horror convention in August in Monster Mania. Oh, somebody was just asking. Oh, GK was asking if I was going. I'll probably go. I might go ask Monster you to give Mania. me a signature, bro. If you're going to go get his signature, man, I might ask you to get one for me. I'll probably, yeah, as long as it doesn't coincide with like a vacation, that they tend to do it in August. Well, it is in August. It's usually when we go down to Jersey Shore, but uh, we might be going in July instead. Nice. We figure it's just about a month till me and Brady are hanging together at Chiller Theater. I'm jealous. Peanut butter and jelly. Well, I'll be cool, yeah. <clears throat> He's like, I'm going to fuck this guy up, you ugly son of a bitch. <sighs> oh, shit. <there. laughs> He's like, oh, shit. Like, shit. This is gnarly, bro. Blap. Blap. No mercy, bro. He had balls, but he, he took a bad shot. Yeah. He just smacked him like a bitch. Yeah. There's that Meyer oh. shot again, just from the side of him. I got to guess. I guess I got to behave a little bit, guys. <laughs> I got uh -oh. a guest next to me. Hi, Mrs. Moody. Hi, honey. Hello. Um, they all said hi, Moody. I caught some of you guys from, from Sunday night. When you guys did your live stream. Yeah, we, we did a little, little short mini episode. We, I was just... I mean, we got to put out something. We haven't put out shit in a while. I was like, fuck it. Just do it. I was sitting, at, I was sitting in the hotel lobby with my cousins drinking screwball. Fuck. Yeah, it was a, it was a rough night, <laughs> to say the least. Ball. Oh. It was easier just to stay in a hotel, down like where my mom's funeral was going to be. So we all stayed in the hotel, hotel, and she's like, "Oh, I, I don't worry about anything. They have beer here for sale, and I got some other stuff." I come, she had wine, screwball, and some other whiskey. I forget what it was, and I was like, "Oh no." Oh. Let me know if you want to do one, Pat. I busted out my good whiskey, you know, and. In honor of your mom. Oh, we can do that. Definitely can do that. Yeah, let me know. I'll go get me a drink. Fuck it. We we'll off tomorrow. Out. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, I go back tomorrow, which sucks. I should have just took the rest of the week off because I'm off on Friday for a good Friday. Hi, Paul mm -hmm. You want to say hi to the fellas? Come here. Come here. Come here. No? My cat Saki. I'm trying to get him so he can say hi. Well, maybe you can hold him. Babe. He's a big son of a bitch. Did you, did you guys see him? Look at this fucker. That's a big ass cat. Dude. I see his cat, Jeff. <laughs> Bro, he's got the biggest cat balls you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> fucking dude, no joke. Like the motherfucker, like he'll sleep on my wife, right? And his nuts are like right in her face. It's hilarious, bro. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> I'm like, bro, you ain't let me do that shit. What the fuck you let him do that shit for, bro? <laughs> okay. like big furry nuts, be like, man. Be like, be like Captain over an airplane. Oh, so Scraps is a boy dog. <laughs> T-bag back. And this one, one more thing about him. He's fucking, he's an asshole. So when he takes a shit, he shits in reverse. So he, he, he digs and he does everything right. But then he sticks his ass outside of the fucking litter box and shits outside the box. He's, <laughs> he's in the litter box, but then he shits outside the fucking litter box. Yeah, so we get home and there's shit everywhere, motherfucker. Right outside the litter box. My cat does the exact same thing. Does Dude. using my cat, but yesterday, twice he shit outside of the fucking litter tray. <laughs> he be long cigarellos. Land on the floor. <laughs> oh. my, 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 it's fucking ter it's 
fucking stinks. You know what I mean? Like it smells so bad. You're like you yep. fucking asshole. Yep. He threw up yeah. yesterday too. Yeah, he threw up in the bed the other day too, fucker. I had to yeah. clean all the fucking sheets. <laughs> oh. take, take, take my puppy. I, t- I told you what he does. Petey. We call him pee paw because every time he lifts his leg to pee, he just pees on his front paw. <laughs> so it's like so at the end of the day, his paw is yellow, so you have to take him and wash his fucking paw. So we just call him pee paw. I just read uh, Ryan's fucking uh, message. That's funny. <laughs> Golden paw. <laughs> it's the biggest cat. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's now, funny. Colin, you pig Aphrodite. How does that bathroom situation work? She just craps up the back of the garden. We got like a big long grass area, a big, very, very high hedge. And she goes on below the hedge and shits and pisses in there. So this fertilizes mm. below the hedge, yeah, which is okay. Nice. But they're very clean animals, pigs, anyway. Yeah, mm. yeah that's what I hear. That's what I hear. Yeah. You know, contrary to popular belief, you know, they're filthy well, animals. Very rare they would shit in their own nest, you know. It's, I mean, even from day one, the, the, the first day we brought her back from the farm, she was only like one month old at that stage. We had like puppy pads in the house. And she used the, the puppy pad from day one. Never shit once on the floor, pissed on the floor, nothing. There was a couple of times she misjudged it. <laughs> but she went to the pad from day one. There was done at the trainer anything. Nice. Wow. Yeah. So, how old so, are we? We misjudge the toilet bowl all the time still. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wish my puppies were that way. You got the one that pisses on his paw, the other one we have the a doggy door that goes in the sliders from my kitchen to my back deck. And when it's raining, the little one, he'll straddle it. He'll have one leg out, one leg in, and he pisses so it gets inside and outside. Because he doesn't want to go outside and get wet. <laughs> and I'll see him and I'm like, I'm like, you son of a bitch. And he's like, oh shit. Then he runs. <laughs> yeah, little little bastards. There's some so fucker, now, some fucker in our work. Telling the story. What's that? Uh, no, I'm sorry. She's telling the story now. When is this supposed to happen? That's the whole thing I, I complained about when I did my what if. Like, yeah. where did this come out of nowhere? Yeah. The wind that happened between, you know. Jason would leave the It was so long ago, you know, she's so traumatized. Yeah. It was a thing that happened. But, you know. The, she's, she's reminiscing about him, how he looks now, not how he looks in Yeah, two. right. Right. Like in this dream here, he should have that long hair and the overall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would yeah. make a little more yep. sense, you know. Very strange. And he would have killed her. There's no way he she would have got away. Right. Ah, that's it. And she must be the only one in the whole Freddy franchise that that's only got raped and then got away. I mean, it's. This it's a really strange thing that they went for. Originally, Jason raped Chris in the flashback, but they felt it was too dark and it was out of character. Yeah, he wouldn't rape her because he wouldn't. He's not into that shit. Wow. And he's, yeah, he's wearing the same clothes. So right here, he's wearing the same outfit. Yeah, this was last week, you know. Right, then it makes it seem like he's there to meet up with her when, and he's really not. Yeah. True. Yeah, the whole timeline is messed up because he became a kid like overnight. It was an adult, I should say, overnight. Uh, <laughs> but they never thought that horror geeks like us at some point would, would catch on to that. Yeah, that's it. I never thought back then, 40 years later, like four nerds would be sitting watching something on YouTube together. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <Yeah. All right. laughs> That's true. <laughs> Nitpick and everything, every fucking detail. You know? If you would have told 12-year-old me I'd be doing this, 
40 years later, I'd be like, get the fuck out of here. No, I won't. Yeah. Like, what are you on drugs? What the fuck are you talking yeah, no. about? <laughs> There's worse There's things that we could be doing. Way There's... worse things. Back into the Bundy Mobile. <laughs> Bundy Mobile. These two all stoned out. Hey, man. That car is actually on display somewhere in some like crime museum. Yeah, Bundy's car. Yeah. Somebody has it. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's, in, it's on display in some crime place. Yeah. Well, somebody was just there. Someone on YouTube was just there visiting his car. Maybe it was. Uh... Yeah, it was a guy Scott on tape. He's a friends with Sean Clark. Yeah, that's him. Yeah, that's it. Scott on tape. Yeah. I think he's from Canada, Scott. Yeah. 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 He's from Canada. From Canada. Eh? Outhouses, hey. man. Fuck the that. Boot. The boot. Whoever, whoever used to have a fucking use an outhouse. I did. I did. When we were kids, that's all they had at the Forest Reserve when you go use the bathroom. They just had outhouses. Yeah. Camping. Yep. All, all the camping I did with my son and the scouts and everything. They said, man, you had outhouses. Fuck, Fuck that. That late night walk is one of the most scariest things as a kid. Fuck that. <laughs> ah, fuck that shit. I always had this fear of like a snake coming up and bite me in the ass. You know, like yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. Yeah. It's a rational fear. Hey, and this foreshadows part four, part five rather, with demon. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Except this guy's he getting stoned. Singing. He's not singing to a girl. Oh, he's thinking of shit. <laughs> now here's another guy. You gotta wonder if he shit and didn't wipe. If he did, I'm it. <laughs> it's a running theme. Yep. It, like, add... just, it comes up, just comes up and says, "Hey, did you ever see Friday Thirteen Part 3? I'll be like, "Oh yeah, the, the No Wipe sequel." Yeah, I've seen the No Wipe sequel. <laughs> they need to add it to the list of rules from Scream. Yeah, you That's... don't know the rules. Yeah, if you don't wipe your ass, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Always. Always wipe your ass before you get killed. It's like it's like when your mother always yeah, told you, you make know. sure you have clean underwear because God forbid you're in an accident. That's all she gives a shit about is your clean underwear. That's right. I don't know if that is that an older thing because that's what my mom used to say. Make sure you have clean underwear. God forbid you get to an accident, you better have clean underwear on. It's like look, I get to an accident, I'm gonna shit myself, Ma. They ain't gonna be clean. Yeah, ain't gonna be clean anymore. <laughs> the last thing there's fucking skev marks in my trunks. <laughs> Dude, if I shit my pants, it's gonna look like Swiss cheese because I have all these holes in my underwear. <laughs> those are the best ones. Those oh, look at that. She's insane. Yeah, he's right. He's that's a nasty yeah. mess. Those are the best ones, boy. Never smoke weed and <laughs> but yeah. Ooh, baby. Ooh. <laughs> there you go. Baby, ooh, baby. Well, up to that. Except well, you more like that. Ooh, baby, man. Ooh, baby, man. <laughs> they got a character just like him in the video game, too. Looks just like that Cheech guy, the Chong guy. That's funny. What does she got around her neck? Is that like a, a boot? She got a necklace. It looks like a boot. She's got a nice can. It's like a blue boot. Yeah. yeah, that's a nice can. Yeah, for real. She no context of what we're saying. <laughs> hi, Mama. You want to say hi to the buddies? Come here. Say hi to the guys. Oh, okay. This is good, me. though. I mean, she does get her good. It scares the shit out of her. <laughs> she did. Come here. Come here. Come back. The best part is that it's not even a lake. It's just a little tiny man made pond that they made for the movie. Yeah, exactly. It's true. Yeah. Come here, Momo. Say hi to the guys. Yeah. Come here. No. There's the mask. He's holding the mask. So you're telling me that they can uh, put a, a ship in that water right there and sail out to New York from there? Of course. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not sure. God. Speaking of sailing, did you see that ship that hit that bridge today? I fucking oh. destroyed that Holy shit. Holy shit. Yeah. I saw that. So it's a whole that bridge fucking... down. 
Man. Fucking crazy. Somebody's fired. <laughs> fired, man. Ooh. <laughs> Holy shit. That was some scary shit. Shout out to those people. Those poor people. Yeah, that must be what I heard of. I, I saw it on Facebook. Someone marked themselves safe in the something bridge collapse or something. Yeah. A ship yeah, hit bro. the bridge and took the whole fucking bridge down. Oh, There's video God. of the whole thing, too. Yeah. I've seen it around, yeah. You want you to feel man. sorry for Shelly, but he comes. Yeah, he, yeah, he is. He comes off and like, but you feel sorry for him. He goes, you know, he didn't deserve to die. I mean, come on. Hey, Lurch. There's, a, there's Lurch. What's up? Hey, Lurch. Where have you been, Lurch. my brother? Lurch, how, how you feeling? I know he said he, he said he wasn't feeling too good. He was sick. I'll Did, be he better, over, man. Did he over your COVID, Lurch? Was it away? I hope so. Yeah, he's over his uh, COVID now. Me and Lurch play uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre the game like almost every day now together. <laughs> no shit. Oh. Yeah. It rained a lot the year he went to Manhattan. <laughs> so apparently Steve Miner was a big hockey fan, and that's where the hockey mask came in. Really? Well, shout out to Steve Miner for he's responsible for it. See, it's one of those things all these guys who made the movie have arguments over who's the one who thought up the hockey mask. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was my idea. Well, actually, I came up with the idea. Oh, well, if it's an income provider, somebody wants to take credit for it. That's why. Yeah. It's right. making money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, that's what makes Halloween awesome because Tommy Lee Wallace, we all know, made the mask. Mm. We know that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're in Baltimore. Yeah, that's just... well, not that's everybody, hard... but that's crazy. Shit. Yeah. But he was, uh, I think he was on my list of off screen deaths when we did our off screen deaths. So, really, don't... I mean, you see him eventually, technically. <clears throat> the old Velcro <laughs> wallet. God, remember those? Oh man! Mm -hmm. <laughs> I used to have a kiss one. Those, I used to get one of those for like Christmas for like I don't know five to ten years straight. <laughs> the fucking cheap ass little Velcro wallet. Yeah. I need a new wallet. Back in those days, back in those days our pussies were like Velcro as well. <laughs> Your what? <laughs> I thought that's what you said. <laughs> Hey, I will say this, though. The way she was walking, you sort of did see a little camel toe. A little bit. Back when we were kids, my, uh, my buddy, he had a wallet just like that, and he lost it. And uh, he got a, a phone call from the mall security one day. He said they found his wallet. Can you come identify it, you know, pick it up? So he shows up there, and they ask him, could you tell me what's inside? He, he starts theming stuff. Oh, I had like $5. I had this and that. Go, oh, yeah? Is this a picture of your girlfriend? He had a picture of Meg Ryan in his wallet. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Delicious. Oh, best death oh. in the movie. Right in the eye. Here we go. Here we go. Here he goes, just drops it, and he's like, fuck this. I'm going to go fuck somebody up. Screw you guys. I'm out of here. <laughs> let it be. Let it just, just nonchalantly walking like, all right, who am I going to fuck up next? Hmm. Such a cool scene. Great scene. Ow. Such a classic scene. First time you yep. see him with the mask, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Tony Moran is the real Michael. Ryan. Blaspheme. <laughs> Blaspheme. <laughs> what kind of cunt does that? Yeah. <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> yeah, I just noticed I never got my intro when I came when we started. Oh shit. Yeah. Look, at, look at you. I'm, I'm off my game tonight. So it happens yeah. when you miss a podcast. I, I, it throws me off. <laughs> Fuck the other ever scathed. Fuck you. Sending me this shit. There it is. Now it's proper introduction. Yeah. Never gets old. Never gets old. Awesome. Okay, she's got some nice nibbies too. But you want to smack the camera and say, just go down a little bit more. Just, just, just a little bit more. Just slow the camera a little bit. <laughs> Okay, it's not like I'm live right now. Uh oh. My cat, she's just running up around. And this guy's gonna come in and ask her if she wants a beer. I would have got I would have jumped in there with her. Yeah, Dude, for real, bro. 
the hell's wrong with you, bro? Doing handstands and shit. Get your goofy ass out of here. <laughs> Get your goofy ass out of here. What is wrong with this guy? Jesus. Oh, that's a good question. Feel the screams. What's the best minor movie? Friday 2, 3, or H2O? I'm going to have to say 2. Friday 2. Yeah. Friday 2, two. for me. Hell no. H2O, bro. Shit. Ice your tongue. Look at that. I I should, I should never say never, but I'll never pick, in most situations, a Friday movie over a Halloween movie. Never. Never. <sighs> Call me crazy. Crazy? Unless it's Resurrection. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll pick Steel Magnolias over Resurrection. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll pick Dude, Where's My Car over Resurrection. Wow, well, of course I would do This that. is true. <laughs> she does say how she's pregnant, and then she was about to have a beer. Then she said, no, forget that beer. It's true. It's the 70s, though. No, this is the 80s. 82. I was 10 years old. I was 10 Uh years old. Ah, a couple of beers won't hurt. That's right. Shit, you gotta remember back in the 70s, that generation, my mother and all them, they always drank, they smoked all that. Why do you think I'm so fucked up? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Hey, guys, did you realize. Uh, let me see. Hold on. Feel the screams. Joe, Friday 13.4 or Halloween ends? Ooh. <laughs> Friday 13.4. Uh, oh, you're coming up uh, with some tough ones. That's a good one. Uh, Just testing that statement. Hmm. Well, you know what? Feel the screams. I'm going to go Halloween ends, baby. <laughs> oh, <my. laughs> oh, I'm going. I got to. I got to. Would you shut the fuck up? <laughs> oh, God, Joe. God, man, that's tough. Well, He's because remember, us, my favorite, my favorite Friday movie is Part Six, right? So, for me, there's a little bit of leeway there. Four. Yeah, a I go little Friday bit of leeway there. <laughs> you know, I base it on rewatchability, and like Halloween ends to me doesn't have the greatest rewatchability, but Halloween, uh, but Friday Four, I could watch. Anytime, yeah, sure, over and over again. So, sure. to me, it okay. always re- it's always rewatchability. Same thing with Friday Part Two, I can watch it constantly yeah. over H2O for sure. Nah. Mm-hmm. Well, third interesting, yeah. interesting. And this is look at her reading Fangoria. Oh, yeah, that sucks. Oh, that's cool. So, that's weird. He's, he's, he's in uh, what do they call it? In universe, he's canon. Tom Savini is canon in the. University created with oh. Godzilla. That was a cool kill, boy. That was like I just uh, like Universal kept... Store. No H two stuff. Really, I figured they would have had a bunch of stuff there. I was gonna hit you up and say if they have anything good, let me know. Take it you. Part mm-hmm. seven all the way. <laughs> I love part seven. Not one of the not one of my favorites. I love two, four, and six are my three favorites, but I love part seven. This is true. If you ever did a kill count, technically she was pregnant. That's a good catch, James. Yeah, it was two for that's one. That's a that's a twofer. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying the dead meat picked that up. That I don't remember. Too, right? The dead meat used to do the, the kill counts. What if they picked up on that? Hey, dead meat is killing that. They're killing it right now, man. They are growing so much. And uh, I'm a big fan of those guys, man. They're still doing their kill counts. and The kill counts are good, their, but that's about yeah, all I want. They're doing their I like podcast. The yeah, they're doing uh, some other shit, too. Um, they did an interview They did an interview with Sean Clark um, not too long ago, just recently. Yeah. It was James, yeah, James and Janice it's and some other chick. Yeah, it's a different yeah, chick. Some other chick, chick. Yeah, some other chick. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. And uh, what's her name? Oh, you love her, Patty. What's her name? Uh, uh, something Conroy or something. Con- con- something. It popped Patty. up on my thing one day. I didn't watch it the one day. I, I, I saw it pop up like the interview he did. And he's got some. Yeah, it's like a different. Sh- it's like a different channel. It's not even the Dead Me channel. Yeah, it's like no, something, it's something else. Yeah. 
And Barbara what Crampton is? produces it. She's on almost every episode. Yes. There you go. Barbara Crampton yeah. is on it. There you go. That's, That's who I, yeah, I did for. see that because I was going to click on it because she was in it. And I was like, oh, I love me some Barbara Crampton. Not that I didn't want to see Sean, but God, I love Barbara Crampton. Two more days, man. Two more days. Barbara Crampton's going to be in the Texas Chainsaw game. Can't wait. Oh, that's no right. Shit. Yep. New playable oh, no character. Shit. Go back and watch our, our best butts in horror, man. Barbara Crampton. Oh, God, from, yes. From, from beyond. From beyond. Wasn't just her, doesn't was, doesn't was, wasn't just her back. It was her front, yeah. too. Front and back. Top notch. <laughs> from from you guys the, seen, uh, the movie uh, Jacob's Wife. Which one? Jacob's Wife. Have you seen that's the good name movie? Good fellow, man. Yeah, it's real good. Oh, yeah, I know. I haven't seen it, but I know of it, though. Yeah, check it out. It's really good. Damn, she's Vampire only 5'4". She's short. Robert Ruffin's on it as well. Oh, look at yeah. Shelly. <laughs> Shelly, quit, cut, quit messing around. From beyond, from behind. Take your pick. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll, I'll take uh, the from behind. Yes, definitely. <laughs> This is a great shot when he's standing there. That's awesome. Turns the light on, that and there he is. Cool. That is cool. Yeah, I think Captain's, and Captain going to produce a sequel to Tourist Trap. She mentioned something about that recently. Oh, they, yeah, they're doing, they're doing a, a remake yeah. of Tourist Trap. They're doing a sequel to it or something, apparently. It's not I, thought a it was a remake. I thought it was a remake. It's going to be a sequel? I think so, yeah. I hope it's a sequel. I hope it's I'd love sequel, to see who man. they cast as, for, as the Chuck Connors character. Because Chuck Connors was iconic. Yeah. yeah. I'd be fucking, that's going to be fucking badass. Yeah. Well, they they got to have another hot uh, chick in there, too, because Tanya Roberts has since passed on. Right. Yeah. That House of Wax movie was basically a remake of that. It was more like a remake of Tourist Trap than anything. True. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, up here comes the Annoying Girls uh, performance. The hot pork. There, yeah. Yeah. Look at her. This is awful. This is fuck. This is so bad. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> she does have a nice can now. <laughs> That's probably how she got the part. She's like, yeah. Give me. I cry worse than that when I wake up in the morning. Though, when I have to go to work. It's even that wrong. <laughs> Not running stairs so fucking. <laughs> that is funny. Shit. See, timestamp. We're at one hour nine minutes and fifty seconds. Wow, twenty-five minutes left. Man, it's going, it's going quick. Yeah, for real. Yeah, that fucking. You were talking about tourist trying... trap. That fucking poster scared the dog shit out of me, man. When I was oh, kid. what's up, Frank? Frank, look at look at Frank throwing a five dollar super chat in there. Thanks, buddy. Oh, Frank, showing the love. Good, can't wait. I'll take that five bucks, and we'll be uh, I'll have to have a beer at um, Chili Theater. Two weeks. All right, Frank. Frank's gonna meet us there. Is it Saturday? You're gonna meet us there, Frank. What's up, Frank? Frank, the sexy tank. You sexy <laughs> zombie. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to meet Some up at uh, Chiller bit. Theater in one month. I'll um, yeah, get the family meet up next October in Manchester. Yep, Saturday. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, we were starting to look at flights, and I could, and, you know, obviously what happened this past week got derailed, but I got to get back on looking at flights and start planning everything. So this way, get get some good deals. Yeah. I have, I have my yep. flights sorted. Yeah. I got my hotel sorted, my flight sorted, my Alice Cooper sorted. Ticket. Um, where I, where are you staying in Manchester, uh, Colin? Oh, I can't, I can't remember the name of the hotel. Let me know because if I get a room there, we, we have no place to stay. If it's some, we're, if it's the same hotel, we'll, we can hang. Yeah. I'll send it through to you. Yeah, send it to me. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> He's more Shatner signed Myers mask for prizes. <laughs> That's right. Shatner's going to be there. Fucking ninety was yeah, ninety three years old. Sweater is uh, Jason's yeah. mom in the first one. He did that, yeah. Old some bitch. We'll have to go. We'll have to go live from uh, Chili Theater. Yeah, that'd be cool. We'll do some crossover. The the slaughtered lamb and uh, that horror movie podcast. This is great. The, sla the slaughtered horror. Oh. 
The Slaughtered Movie Podcast. This is one of the most coolest and cheesiest scenes ever. Oh, yeah. yeah. So so terrible, it's good. <laughs> Darren said, I shouldn't fly Aer Lingus and stay at the Holiday Inn. That was the cheesiest I thought that ever. Yeah. Holiday Inn's pretty pretty good, and they're quite yeah. reasonable. Yeah. That eyeball almost hit me right in the face. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder Jason killed him. He was wearing his mother's sweater. <laughs> I'll tell you, it's true. He looked just like just looked like mom's sweater. I love when they talk to nobody mm. in horror movies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Just for our benefit, just the, the, the fellow sin. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what kind of game you're playing. <laughs> Most definitely stop being funny. And now cut it out. You'll be sorry. <laughs> hey, Raccoon Eyes. Does Shatner sign Myers Mask or is he a... He, was, he does do it now. Am I correct, Frank? Because I know he, was, he, he didn't used to do it. He used to, used to get pissy about it from what I remember. But I think he does it now. Yeah, he will. Because I remember for a while, correct me if I'm wrong, Frank, I thought he didn't do it. Because he was kind of pissed. Yeah, you know, I know he was kind of pissed that like he never got anything out of it because it's basically his freaking image. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'd be pissed too, ain't gonna lie. <clears throat> Greens went to the New England comic and record convention last weekend. Decent stuff there. Oh, that sounds like fun, man. I love going to record conventions. Yeah. <laughs> it's true, James. Yeah, repeating somebody's name over and over again in horror movies. Yeah, that's yeah. Rick, Rick, where are you, Rick? Man, it looks like the winds we got going on out here right now. There you now. go, we got like Rick. Where are you? Winds over here in Chicago. Shit. It was the same here all last week. The fucking wind was on. The oh middle. yeah, same here. Jesus, it was, it was fucking it was brutal. brutal. So bad. It's definitely not fun. It's gotten really cold again here too. It was starting to heat up, but now this last week, the fucking temperatures just dropped back down again. Yeah. That's how it is here too, yeah. up and down, up and down. Yep. Yep. I can vouch for it because usually after it passes through Chicago and in a day or so it hits us. Yeah. Today wasn't so bad. No, today was nice other than the wind here. The wind was brutal. Yeah, it wasn't as windy as it was, but it definitely was a breeze, but but it was it was nice. And I was just raining here all day. It didn't stop all fucking day. Rain, rain, rain. We had that this past Saturday. Holy shit, we had floods everywhere. It rained hard. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. And here he is. Rick's eyes are still intact. Yeah. They're not hanging out. The one out. <laughs> she's got a good scream. I don't know if that's her. She scream, does. But she's got a very good scream. You want to make a scream, <laughs> don't you? You want to make a scream. <laughs> <laughs> the best is maximum overdrive. Kurt! Yeah, Curtis. Field is going to his first heart con. Kind of Lexi Kid is awesome. Hark, they're they're oh, so much nice. fun. Meet a lot of cool people. Cool stuff. They've been announcing more and more of the Warriors. They're having a an a Warriors reunion here at uh, Flashback this summer, also. Well, that's what we're going to do with uh, Chiller, and James Remar is there now. Well, yeah, James I'll, Remar's coming to ours too. They announced uh, meet those five guys. of them so I don't usually spring for those big cast photos, but that might be one I have to do. I don't think I can pass up. Yeah, it's the the the, the Warriors, and then they're also having the thing. And you guys know how much I love the thing. The thing. Yeah, the thing. Really. Yeah. Well, there's, there's quite a lot of the thing characters going to Manchester as well. Mm. There's this is great when she's looking through and he, she sees him running with the axe. Such a good, cool visual. Love Richard Brooker. Rest in peace.
There you go. Take the knife right out of the back. Right out. Cool. Jason's first thought when seeing Chris, can you tell me where Stamp where Stampede Wrestling is holding its next car? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's that going to leave a mark. That's going to leave a mark. Ooh. Tell you, that's a good thing. Get him right in the name, man. And this is great. When he takes it and whips it at her, just misses her head. Yeah. He's a hell of a shot, though, huh? Just missed it. Yeah, I love how I love how you can see the string after it. Afterwards, you can see the string. <laughs> I love <it. laughs> yeah, you see the door made of cardboard. Yeah. <laughs> You're going nowhere, bitch. You're not going anywhere. He's pretty damn strong here already, too. Yeah, that's true. Oh, and my wife's always reminded me. I never, everybody in the chat, do me a favor, hit that like button. She's always like, I never tell anybody to hit the like button. I go, when do you even watch my freaking podcast? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shout out to Robert um, McDonough, who's uh, got tattoo local tattoo artist who did my wife's tattoo. I was chatting with him today. And he wants to come on the podcast. He's a big horror fan, so I told him to come on and hang out with us. And he's going to do a he's going to do a Myers tattoo for me. Oh, nice! Get out well, of here. Fi finally, yep, I'm going to get a Myers tattoo. I just have, he said, just pick the image you want, and we'll do it. Now, are you going to get the guy? tattoo live on the air? I'll be kidding you. Yeah, right? I should do that, right? Just live from his studio. It's right in town. But he's a big okay. horror fan. I said, come on, hang out with us, man. I said, you have a ball hanging out with us. And I said, jump in the chat tonight, but he's actually doing somebody's tattoo right now. Hmm. But does real nice work. Real nice work. Frank's terrified of the food. Darren is going to make him eat in Manchester. Just, I mean, fortunately, I don't know. Is it like that in England, like they are in France, where everything's covered in mayonnaise? I hate mayonnaise. No, no. <laughs> Only if oh, he asked for it. If he asked for it, yes, but no. Generally, no. We were in, the wife and I, when we actually, were, were we dating yet? No, we had just started dating. I was thinking married, and we were in St. Thomas. Was it St. Thomas? Was no St. Martin. One half of the island is French, the other half is English. And we were on the French side, and there was a burger, and it looked like it was like I ordered a, a, a sandwich made of mayonnaise, and there was like a piece of meat in the center, like this big. <laughs> and I'm like, what Ooh. the hell is that? Like I was like, you know, like I'm like, where's the? I'm like, where's the beef? I go, it's like you just put a bun on top of a thing of Hellman, Hellman's mayonnaise. <laughs> where's the beef? And I said, no, exactly. Uh, where's the beef? And I'm like, I don't, I can't stand mayonnaise. I said, you got to take it back. And I'm sure they probably spit in my burger after that. Huh. <laughs> crumpets for days. Maybe we should invite us in for tea and scrumpets. That's it. Tea and scones. Bangers and mash. Well, I tell you, when we were in Ireland, it was great food in Ireland. Really enjoyed the food in Ireland. Yeah, bangers and mash. I'm a big fish and chips guy, so fish and chips, bang the mash, stew, like, like a nice shepherd's pie. Shepherd's pie. Oh, I love all that stuff. Yeah. So, Colin, in Ireland, do you guys actually eat corned beef, or is that another Americanized thing? No, we haven't have ten corned beef here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Oh, yeah, I love yeah. corned beef. I love corned beef. We used to eat it when I was a kid, but I haven't eaten meat in haven't eaten meat in years. Yeah, my wife really? too. She doesn't eat meat anymore. Curry, scared. Oh, yeah, curry. I can't stomach <laughs> yeah. curry. Oh, I'm not oh a yeah. curry guy. Oh man, yeah, curry. curry I went, I went with a guy to a bar once, and it was a, it was an Irish bar, and they served curry in there. This guy ordered it. And oh my god, the whole rest of the day, I could just smell that shit coming out of his pores everywhere we went. Oh, yeah. brutal. Well, be on site, work in IT. I worked in IT for years. 
Oh, and you work with a lot of Indian people. No offense, great people, but yeah, man, right. curry stuff. I just can't take it. Nah, yeah, I'm, I'm not. Cool. I never was a fan of curry. No. I've had Indian food, but you can get real good into Indian food. That's not like that's not like laced in curry. Yeah, I mean, korma's okay. Korma's quite nice. It's a like coconut base. It's quite mild. It's not yeah. spicy. That's nice. Yeah, I've been out with uh, to an Indian restaurant with some of the people I used to work with, and they, I'm like, Ugh, I'm not a big curry fan. Like, just come. This, it's not not everything's drenched in curry. And the stuff I had that wasn't drenched in curry was actually very good. Yeah, korma's good. Tikka masala is nice. But quite quite mild. <clears throat> You can tell he's wearing shoulder pads, and the, yeah, the, all it's missing is, is uh, like a number on the back, like he's wearing a Jets jersey. Yeah, <laughs> like Frank has to try its P brown sauce when he's in England. <laughs> What's it called? Boom. It's P brown sauce. Just called brown sauce, but the company's called its P. Is there, people put it over there. People put it in the stews here and they put it into like fried food, like a fry. It's like a fried bread, sausages, bacon, mushrooms, beans. And you usually put brown sauce over it. Oh. Well, it's, it's, an, it's an acquired taste. It's, you know. Well, here, the big thing now is like, um, ship Joe keeps disappearing on me. Um, what's the ship? Mate? What do they call that? Um, Chick fil A sauce? Hmm. I don't know if you have Chick fil A's by you guys. My daughter, my son just love everything with that Chick fil A sauce. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. We have them over here, but I, I have honestly have never been in a Chick fil A. Me neither. Me neither. Tell you, she was she was a good final girl, man. She got him. She fucking hung his ass. She's hanging his ass right now. Yeah. So you, you, can, you can't say anything about it, man. She, uh, she did what she was supposed to do. It's one of my favorites. Yeah, her and they're probably my favorite too. Jenny and her. Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> you know, honestly, all these final girls in these early Friday movies were all really strong. Yeah, the were. Part, uh, part two, five, five's good as well with a chainsaw. Yeah, yeah. Part five, part one, even. There's Joe. Let's see if he stays this time. Joe, you keep pulling out. What's up? Oh, my cat, she knocked down everything and she, she knocked me off. <laughs> they shouldn't shit, shit though, right? She didn't shit on it. No, she jumped up and she <laughs> knocked it all down. Oh, sorry about that. All right, crushes two turd. spicy chickens from fish. Oh, man, it must be burning on the way. It must burn the rim on the way out. Oh, my son eats, eats it all the time because they, they actually have a Chick fil A uh, in the cafeteria at his, at his college. No, that rocks. I can eat Chick-fil-A every fucking day. We think Shelly possibly played hockey or he only carried the mask around to scare chicks into liking him. I don't think he played hockey. He didn't have the body for hockey. He did not have the build. The no. fuck was he? Did you see how he ran earlier in the film? He's not yeah. athletic at all. <laughs> he ran like he was picking up his skirt and running. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like he was in heels. He was running like he was trying to hold his cheeks together so he wouldn't shit himself. Yeah, <laughs> he was a pin he was pinching one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe he just didn't wipe either. This is a great scene. You can't be that is my part here. He lifts himself up and he takes his mask. Yeah, right here. When he smiles like <laughs> he's like, I'm gonna fuck you up. He smiles with them busted ass teeth. So, hmm. I tell you, she got lucky because the, the biker saves saves her his her ass rather. Oh, that's bitch, man! When he cuts his hand off. Reminds me of Candyman. Candyman, right? Yeah, just missing the hook. Ryan eats chili or crock pot chicken five times a day with ghost pepper sauce. Spicy chickens don't... Jesus, man. You must be sitting on that bowl like demon singing Ooh Baby. Yeah. <laughs> it's singing Ring of Fire more like. <laughs> Ring of Fire. 
Frank says, Colin, did you get your Halloween miniatures from Tots? No. No. These he sent you a set? No. I've, I've got yeah. Well, there was ones that got about a year ago. Is this the same ones he's talking about? No, this is the different set. The other miniature set that just came out. They're like no. they're like gray. Actually, the other miniature the other miniature set was from Fright Rags. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. This is from no, I, I, I didn't get around to ordering those. No, man, <clears throat> they are the cheapest looking fucking things I've ever bought in my whole life. Yeah, they they're, they're just fucking us at this point. Yeah. yeah, seriously, Colin, it's a waste of money, dude. They're, it's yeah. a little plastic cardboard box with these little fucking G, like GI Joe men. These little fucking, yeah. you know, the little fucking yeah. terrible. They I couldn't terrible. believe how small the box was. I was like, "This is it?" I thought it was gonna be yes. like something like this. And this, this little, fucking hold on, where are they? Must have cost. Were they expensive? They honestly nah, weren't like that bad. Twenty five bucks or whatever. Yeah. But but still, like I was expecting something. Of more quality, but this is like a piece of shit. Like something you could get at five below. Right, this uh, is bad when I have so much shit I can't find them. What the fuck did I do with them? Easy piece of shit. Easy piece of shit. <laughs> like the like the magnet was awesome. Like the the fucking the the pumpkin magnet. Yeah, like that yeah. bitch was big, and I think we paid what thirty bucks for that, Pat. Something like I think. that. Yeah. But that magnet, the magnet was, was big. killer. Yeah, yeah, the magnet awesome. was cool, man. Yeah, that was cool. Well, was this, fucking... I'll, after this jump scare, I'll go find them. I know I have them somewhere. What the fuck are they with them? Crap miniatures. Yeah, that's, I got so much shit now. I don't even know where things are anymore. Just trying to be more selective now because I'm literally running out of space. You know, just... I feel you, brother. I feel you. No, we paid the same fucking price. The, the poster magnet was twenty four ninety nine. And this is great when you see sees them up there. Yeah, it's the same price. Exactly, I thought so. And the, and the poster magnet is awesome. I like when he's smiling. <laughs> he's like, ah, gotcha. <laughs> and when he comes busting out, man, you you wish it was a real scene because he's hauling ass. He's he's like, I'm gonna fuck you up, man. This is like the only one where Jason acts this way, all like taunting. Yeah, like <laughs> yeah, yeah, like maniacally. Like that. That's why I love this one. Look at him busting out. Look at that. James said they had two alternate endings <gasps> where Chris and Ali let live. The cops come in, but Jason really. Hmm. Is that on a Blu-ray or anything? Because I don't have any any features. Oh, look at her coming here. She's copping a field. There goes Mrs. Voorhees pulling her right into the water. This was a cheap. This was that was a cheap jump scare at the end. Like seriously, she's got no head. Yeah, yeah. Could they throw to something better? <coughs> well, it was kind of like Jason in the first one. He really wasn't there. But he had a head. True. <coughs> True. <laughs> this guy holding his gun. Something about a lady in a lake. <laughs> this is good when she starts freaking out. She's like, ah! <laughs> she's like, <laughs> come with me, miss. Let me escort you to the back of my car. You're fine. Look at him. <laughs> He's like being all nice to her until he gets her to the car and he just shoves her in. It's like, calm down, bitch. That, that cop resembles Kenny Rogers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, right? Really. Bill, put your band sticker on my work van. The bosses haven't seen it yet. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> nice. Awesome. Did Joe see the pretty woman Toonie Terror figure? Did you see that, Joe? Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, we, we were, were talking about that earlier. Yeah. It looks fucking great, doesn't it, Lurchy? Looks great, bro. And the other ending was Chris thinks she sees Rick at the cabin. It goes, but it's Jason, and he cuts her head off. I would have liked to see seen that. That would have been a cool ending. <laughs> she sounds like Beavis. <laughs> 
Jason sucks. <laughs> Fuck him. Let's just keep watching. Let's keep going. Let's watch part four now. <laughs> yeah, right? Fuck uh, it. I wasn't going to work tomorrow. I'd say fucking A, right? Let's do it. Yeah. That's Friday the 13th, part three. Woo. Based on characters by Victor Miller and Ron Kurtz. Yep. Good film. Good film. One of the good entries in the franchise. Awesome well, there were several that was supposed to be the last Friday the Thirteenth, including this, including the next one, where it even said the final chapter. See, I was a new D Steve is D Dash, but I forgot his full name was Dashkowitz. Dash. Oh, real quick, uh, what was y'all's thoughts on Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, and Alien Romulus? Thoughts. I saw the Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, and that looks awesome. I cannot wait to see it. I didn't see the aliens out. Yes. Yeah, the, the alien trailer looked quite cool, actually. Yeah, mm -hmm. man. Yeah, I really I, like that on the alien trailer that they didn't give too much away. What they showed yes. was the perfect amount yeah. for me. Fuck yeah, cool. dude. Look, I, look, 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 look. Yeah. I, I'm so excited just because, like, Finally, like some, some, I feel like it's fresh air. Like, any, I'm just a sucker for all the aliens movies. Like, I'm just a sucker for them, but I have a really good feeling that this one's going to be really good because it's supposed to take place between uh, one and two, you know, timeline. Well, is it between one and two? Yeah, between one and two, bro. So it's going to be before oh. the colonial marines <laughs> go out there and kick ass and shit. So oh. I think it's going to be good, man. I think it's going to be good. I'm definitely going to yeah. check it out. Yes, made by Pete Alvarez. He's the one who did uh, the Evil Dead remake, and I love that. Yeah, that was a good he one, dude. He also done Don't Breathe as well. Oh, yeah. that's right. Yeah. Don't Breathe. That's right. That's right. That's right. He's a, he's a half decent director. He's quite good. Yeah. Eight point five. That's a good score. What do you guys give this? Well, I forget what I think I gave Ooh. this a seven and a half. Ooh. Yeah. Did this. Six and a half, seven for me. Yeah. Yeah, good. This is a one of the fun, one of the ones I can I can always go back and watch as I enjoy yeah, I'll it. I go six. I go six on this one. I go six. It's the mask, man. Just because of yeah. that, it saves it. That's right. The newscaster in the beginning was Steve Miner. Yeah. Oh no shit. Lurch says seven out of ten. There you go. Twenty thirteen Evil Dead is your twenty thirteen Evil Dead is awesome, but I mean I just uh, I just love the the original one so much. There's another I had another question. I don't know. What Larch was telling was. Bill late night with the devil kicks ass. It was a great movie. Yeah, that's, that. another film. that's another film we really want to see as well. I have to check it out. Yeah. yeah. Reading says Seven or eight, yeah, it's a good score. It's good. It's this is one of the better entries, one of the ones I can always watch. And some of them eh, they don't have too 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 much rewatchability, but this definitely does. The first, the first three, first, actually first four, first the first five for me I can watch anytime. Yeah, even oh. five because five's grown on everybody, including yeah. us. I mean, five's just so much fun and God, yeah, five's, it's got a lot of five's good entertainment. It's good entertainment, especially if you want some skin. Uh, did yeah. you watch <laughs> Joe, did you watch Massacre at Central High? The, the one that uh, Christy was did you see that yet? No, no I did right. but... go check it out. Yeah, there is but a I... lot of nudity. And you do see uh what the hell's her name from part four. I went to, to She was the goody two shoes, website, she was the sister. And I saw I saw all the nudity parts. It was amazing. Yes, she was definitely <laughs> has a yeah, she, she would have definitely made our best boobs list. So shout out to Christy. You were definitely right on that oh, one. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have to check and, that out. Right? Yeah, some full frontal too. Big fan. Boob, boob alert. I'll have to check that out. <laughs> you do a little For sausage me, party. Seven. She just have to just look the other way with the sausage. Sausage. First, uh, first seven Fridays for me. I love them all. The uh, part four and part six are my two favorite. I always I always bounce back and forth between wh which one I like more, four and six. But uh, four, six, and two are my three favorites. Yeah, pretty hey, much. It's a good my list, top. my friend. Good list. Top five, two, four, five, one, and three. And then the rest in sequence. There you go. Released. Which hockey mask is 
better from the front. Tell you, man, I love the one with the blue lines on it from part five. You can say what you want, but I love that. Yep, I have one over there. Yeah. The, the only mask I own is the part five one. Even though it's it's technically Roy Voorhees, it's not really yeah. uh, I'm gonna... <laughs> Jason Voorhees, but I love the mask with the blue lines in it. It looks cool. Yeah. I'm going Good. seven. I'm going seven. Seven. Mask from seven. Me too. Yeah. Seven. 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 seven rocks ass. Yeah. Everything about Jason and seven is my favorite. I mean, yeah, it's so yeah. cool. It's all sex. Fucking rib, yeah. ribs hanging out the back and all. It's so good. Yeah. That's yeah, so it's awesome. Cool. Oh, Lurchy. Oh, yeah, so Lurchy said seven too. Shutter is the 22nd of the month. Okay, cool. Then I'll be able to check it out then. Yeah. Well, I'll have to watch that. And then it won't be long that that first omen comes out. I think that's out the 5th of April ah. next week. Is it already? I think ah. so. I'm near the 5th of April, yeah. Yeah. It'll be interesting. No. I'm not expecting much, but yeah. <laughs> Give it a hey, go. Wishful thinking, right? <laughs> wishful thinking. Yeah, well, it's got a lot of different answers. That's cool. And like you said, this is always all subjective. I want to see Nick Cage and Long Legs. Yeah. I want to see that is, one too. I'm, did I miss the boat on that? What's Long Legs? I don't know that. What like is the, that? It's supposed to be about a serial killer with Nick Cage. It's getting all kinds of hype. It doesn't even come out until like later in the year. Is there a trailer for it or a teaser? Oh, I know no, what just you're talking posters. about. These are posters, I think. I don't know if they put a trailer out yet. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'll check that out. I also want to see Tyson beat the hell out of Paul. What is that all about? I must have missed it's a lot a, this past week. It's the apparently Mike Tyson is going to fight. Uh, God, what's his name? That young With, guy. With Paul? Yeah, the Paul yeah, kid. He's going to fight <laughs> RuPaul? No, no, not Jake Paul. Paul. <laughs> Jake Paul. <laughs> He's fighting Jake Paul. No, that I'd want to see. <laughs> no, watch that freaking pay per view right here, man. I'll pay for that. <laughs> Sit down. I'll take the dress right off. Paul, of Paul. <laughs> yeah. Paul, Paul, I give you all. <laughs> no keys. No dress, but. Please, Drew Paul. Paul. Paul Logan. <laughs> oh, yeah, I must have missed the boat on this, man. I missed a lot of shit. Oh, the trailer is out for it. I have to go check that out. What's it called? Oh. Long Legs. I have to go check that out. Long Legs. Yeah. Missed a lot. Little full. A lot of sap. Definitely missed it. <laughs> it's... It's elder abuse. I heard Tyson was walking with a cane recently. Really? Why? Why all of a sudden is Tyson coming out to fight? Did this guy say something about him or something? No, it's just for money. Just for money. publicity yeah, and money. Just it's usual. It's gonna be a busted well, he's, he's, fight. The age like it was he 57, 58. He actually looks quite good. He's yeah. some shit too, you know. Still for that age. Yeah, I mean, you can't you Definitely. can't underestimate. Good. You know, old man strength. You know, like from was it Rocky? What, Rocky? Rocky Balboa? You know, Bye. you're sl you're slow. You know, you can't move. Yeah, but we got his brute force. <laughs> yeah, you have to give him a slack, like you know, in the the early Rocky movies where Nick uh, Mix Adam chased the chicken. Now you're just chasing a, a bucket of KFC around. <laughs> That's true. They have to wear headgear, though, do they? Uh, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't. Mess headgear, yeah. Tyson's bullshit. still fucking crazy, man. I would not want to mess with him. No, no, no way. I've never seen Mike Tyson's cartoon that he had on that Mysteries one. It was like Scooby Doo. Yeah, yes. No, that was what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, it was so funny. Hey guys, how's it going? Yeah, <laughs> he's like eating pie in the one. The chair is Jubilee. <laughs> Gotta be my favorite. <laughs> I didn't see that. That's great. Oh, I also have to check that out. <laughs> you, awesome. You want one of these, Pat? Oh, we can do that. Yeah. Entertain the troops. Let me go get something. Hold on. Un momento. See if we'll play. I know. Let it, let it roll, man. Let's do part four now. <laughs> yeah, oh, fuck it. 
Might as well. That's what I said. Tell so, Pat, well, fuck it. What's your most anticipated movies for the year, guys? Oh, Top five me. most anticipated films. God like bless year. America. Oh, I don't know. God. I don't know, man. Well, I, I do There's want to so see much. That was, that was, wow. I want to see that. Um, God, Actually, I can't Ka- think. Yeah, I mean, doing, Colin. I was walking over to my liquor cabinet going... <laughs> 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 I guess I'm 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 excited for the new uh, Terrifier. I guess. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking for that. I can't wait yeah, for that. Like uh, that's that's in my top five. Yeah. Yeah. Because my the wife likes Christmas <laughs> all nighter and Terrifier. I mean, that's gonna be good. That's gonna be. Hey, I have shit. to work tomorrow, man. I would do it. Yep. Terrifier three, The Wolfman. Oh Not yeah. Saturday. Wolfman, Not I want to see. And Not Nosferatu. Saturday. Um, oh, yeah, that's right. Alien and Maxine. That's probably my top five. Maxine, yeah. Oh, yeah. Maxine. Oh, dude, yeah. That's going to be fucking great. Oh, there's, the, there's that sound. Oh, that's nice. That's <laughs> my, my glass. Oh, hello. Uh, the new Strangers movie. Uh, oh one. yeah, I want to see that. I love the strangers. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna be good. That's gonna be the shit, isn't it? Yeah, I really hope that works out well. They're releasing all in one year, aren't they? Yeah, the trilogy. Yeah, I think so. Did, yeah, I didn't see it yet, but anybody else? Did anybody watch uh, Roadhouse yet? I did. No, I watched it. How was it? Uh, snooze fast. Snooze fast. Yeah, I'll watch it one of these days. I saw, popped up the other night, but I was like falling asleep. I'm like, you know what? It, Another night. It, it was just come on. It was over the top, man. Like if you don't, if you want to watch a movie and you don't take it serious and you just want to get action flick, hey, give it a whirl, man. But it's it doesn't hold the candle to the to the original, like the spirit of it. It's not it's not I'm my a, cup of tea. And then I'm not a big fan of Conor McGregor either in terms of like his attitude. Yeah. And his right. acting is terrible. His acting is trash. I'm that fucking guy. Oh. I. I tried hard to like him, like when he was like fighting and everything, but now he's just so loud and obnoxious, Fucking man. Obnoxious, arrogant bastard. Yes, <laughs> I, I usually don't have, I don't have, like, I don't not not like a lot of people, but that dude just gets on my nerves, man. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Zombie. Oh, oh, before I forget, Colin did send me a photo earlier of his age, uh, Friday Three collection. Look at that. Oh shit! Yeah. That's that's the original VHS. That's from like eighty three, I think that cassette. No shit, that's I've, cool. I've, I've had that since I was a kid. The Necker figure DVD and the fortieth anniversary Blu-ray. Dude, that it's... fucking VHS Camp Crystal's bloody legacy. Oh. Yeah, Dude, I, I had the first eight on VHS. First eight movies. Was that considered one of the video nasties? Is it cut at all? No, no, no. It's full. Yeah. Damn, that's cool, man. Look at that. Yeah. Nice stuff. Odd, odd, oddly enough, the Friday the Thirteenth films didn't get caught up in that whole video nasty thing. Really, I'm surprised. Really? They they seem to slip through the net, and as did Halloween as well. Halloween too. You know, it was it was it was more the zombie films, the cannibal films, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah, so nice. I guess you weren't watching Cannibal Holocaust back then. <laughs> oh yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> but like back in the day, there were certain certain mom, mom and pop stores where you go to, and they were like below the counter. So there were certain stores you knew where they were, but you had they asked for them. And if the, if the guy who owned the place got to know you, he would give them to you, you know. But oh. it was all hush hush and sort of cloak and dagger shit going on, you know. Like, make sure nobody sees you without fucking tape. On the way home, keep it in your coat the whole way home, and all that kind of shit. You know, crazy times, crazy. I had that back in the day, but that, but it was porn. (laughs) Jesus Christ! Yeah, because I could get all the horror movies I wanted, but the porn is like the guy. Tell you the one place I used to go to. If you had the money, the guy didn't give a shit who you were. (laughs) Hey, money talks, man. Money talks. He just used to sit there and chain smoke his cigarettes and watch movies behind the counter and. 
You know, he turned his head. I'd sneak into that. Well, back then, like I said, they had those squeaky doors to go into the porn section. He didn't give a shit. Yeah. Yep. See him. The, the beads see. hanging, you know, the beads. The, beads. <laughs> the squeaky door from the squeaky door company. <laughs> Speaking of cannibals, did you see the video of the homeless guy eating a human leg in California? The fuck? No, <laughs> I remember seeing some. I remember seeing a video years ago where somebody went crazy and was biting somebody. This must, but this must be a new one. Hey, look, I've been, I've been to California, man. What doesn't surprise me, right, Joe? You've been out there. We were just yeah, out there. Fuck. Doesn't yeah. surprise us. He was eating a human leg. Fucking <laughs> legs is spicy. It was, yeah, it was like that with you guys, right? It was like the black market, man. It was like it was like taboo. All the films back then, I can I could never understand that. And I remember I didn't understand it. And I, you know, I'm a big damn fan like yourself, Colin. And I remember the song "Video Nasty," and I never knew what it was was until I <clears throat> found out later on what they were talking about. I was like, I thought it was like they were just calling it a video nasty because it was like a horror film. Because you know, that's yeah. what I just I didn't realize it was a video nasty, meaning like you know, it was like. Verboten for Christ's sake. Yeah, it was crazy times. I mean, that it actually got that stupid. The, the police were like raiding the shops or the stores every so often. And they were taking any title that sounded dodgy. Like there was there was a film called The Big Red One, which is not even a fucking horror. <laughs> the film. Big Red One is all, it's it's an <laughs> army movie. Yep. They fucking mm -hmm. took that as well they thought it was a porn. <laughs> <laughs> big the big red one? Hey, there probably is a name out there. It just got ridiculous after a while, yeah. But that was that, that was back then. But every generation has that kind of thing, you know. You go back to the fifties, it was EC Comics, you know. Mm -hmm. Every generation, every decade has something that society wants to blame society's ills on. And in the eighties, it was VHS. That was the thing. In the 90s, it was video games. You know, now it's the fucking internet. There's always you need something to complain. Now, now, it's, now in the states, it's, it's TikTok. That's true. Yeah. Well, I don't want you looking at that Elvis shaking his hips the way he does. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's... <laughs> I would have loved to have been there. No, you're not looking for the big red, the big red one. You're looking for the the big red dong. That's the it's over. It's in that section. Oh over. Jesus. The big red dong. <laughs> not the big red one. I've seen that one. Uh, absolutely unreal. I mean, oh, it was a train accident and he took off with the leg. Is that what that is? <laughs> Frank oh, was looking, Frank weird. was like, shit, I was looking for that leg. <laughs> wow, that's weird. You got video nasty. Like, yeah, from the young ones, it was the damned. People are sick, boy. Big fans. <clears throat> All right, guys. So, what do you say? We'll do some things going on in the channel real quick and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll say our goodbyes afterwards. We'll, we'll call a night and then we'll do our shot. So if you guys haven't seen it up on the channel, go check out our top five butts in horror. There's two of my favorite right there. Oh, Jesus. Look at us. Okay, okay. Look at that. I mean, come on. Who who wouldn't want those? Uh, oh. I just want those as pillows. Just put my head yes. on every night. Park that ass on my face any day. <laughs> nope. Get away. <laughs> Move. And Joe's, oh. getting, Move. Joe's getting a cat on his face right now. We're talking about getting a nice, pretty oh. ass. Damn it. <laughs> Damn so, it. Go check out our top five butts in horror. And we just watched Friday 13 Part 3. Go check out my what if. I still haven't gotten the. Uh, I, everybody knows I got a little derailed. I got to go back and get my uh, part four going one of these days. Um, The book club should be going on Thursday night, provided <clears throat> I'm not stuck working late. But so far, shout out to Byron. We'll, I'll be uh, doing the book club. Uh, what else is here? Go check out top albums of 73. Man, there's a lot of people watching these. These are fun. And Brett and Colin and I, uh, this Friday, are going to record one together. Our top yep. 10 albums of 1974, <coughs> his birth year. The year I was born. Nice. Yes. yes. So I'm going to do this. The next one is going to be a collaborative effort between, with Colin and myself. So looking forward to that. Nice. You know, Friday, and it'll be out probably early next week. I threw this together the other night. I was reminiscing. Kiss my past. My first kiss. Go check it out. When you first heard kiss, what turned you on to kiss? Or if you don't like Kiss, then you suck. But go ahead, check it out. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Um, check us out every Sunday night live on the podcast. Tuesday, watch the watch-alongs. The podcast streams on all these platforms. Make sure you like, 
subscribe to the channel, hit that like button too. Sons of bitches, don't cost nothing. Go join the, that horror movie podcast group. Go check out Joe and MB's channel. They just did a live stream on, on Sunday night. Go Let's check go. it out and join their, join their Facebook group. That is everything that's going on right now with every on this channel. What do you guys got? You guys got anything going on? Well, I'm, I'm just Those chilling, catching up with a bunch of movies. Yep, chill time for me. Awesome, chill time. Oh, yeah, Sounds pretty that's awesome. perfect <laughs> asses. That, that's right, Raccoon. There's some perfect asses. Greetings, have a good one, man. Thanks for hanging as always. Yep, yeah, we're appreciate you hanging out. Ghostbusters movie tomorrow. Oh, nice. So here, do a quick shot. We'll sit and then we'll get off and we'll do our uh, goodbyes after. On the after, the, right. on the aftermath. Thanks for um, shout out to Colin and uh, Bill for filling in at last minute for Brady. This was a great time. Yeah, it was a great. great time tonight Here's with you guys, guys, as always. And uh, shout out to uh, everybody that joined us tonight. Hope you enjoyed the film. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for Here hanging out, guys. Oh, why do I have to work tomorrow? I'm glad we got to finally hang out, Colin. Yeah, it was cool, yeah. At long last. It took a while, but we got there in the end. Yeah. Yep, yeah, it was cool. Yeah. Greetings is getting ready to either watch a Machete or a Death Death Clock episode? Which one's What's that? Am I missing that? I know Machete. Machete. I've been wanting to rewatch Machete myself. Well, what's the Death What's death Lock? What's, what's Death Lock? Death, death Lock is that, uh, that band that was on uh, the animated death metal band that was on Adult Swim. Oh, really? I didn't know the name of oh. that. Metal That's cool. Ryan, as always, man. Talk to you soon, man. Good night, my Feel brother. the screams. Have a good one. Yeah, everybody on the way out, make sure you hit that like button, and uh, we'll see everybody for Sunday night. We'll be back for the podcast. We should right, be good back. Night, guys. Good to see you. Already man. makes it back in one piece. All right, you guys hang tight. We'll see our goodbyes after. And everybody, like, comment, all right. subscribe, all that happy horse shit. And uh, have a good one. Later.